This is an adobe that was built in the 1850s. One spirit that is said to be here, her name is Isadora. Isadora Bandini of the Cosmopolitan Hotel. They say they hear her crying in the chapel. Tour groups have reported dozens of ghostly encounters, disembodied voices. The second I walked up there, someone was in there went, Huh, huh. The sounds of children's voices. So I just heard a kid yell. I did too. I'm so sorry. Woman singing. What? A woman singing. The person whose body was in the wall is here. They are not welcoming. Is this Isadora? Yes. <laughs> Amanda? Where the f did that just come from? Inside the house. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the, the Spooky Boos. I did not know any of the history of this place. Just knew it was a historical landmark. Actually driving past it, I knew it existed before I ever saw it. So that's how we ended up here. But after learning the history of it, holy... Holy. It's haunted. She be haunted. We are at the Rancho Guajome Adobe. I hope I said that right. This is an adobe that was built in the 1850s. <laughs> but wait until you hear who it has connections to. So as we were doing research, we we're looking at the hauntings and we noticed that one spirit that is said to be here who's seen crying in the chapel, her name is Isadora. We looked at another article, her last name Bandini. Isadora Bandini of the Cosmopolitan Hotel, her and her husband. <laughs> and her father owned the Cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. So the fact that she went on to then have this place is just mind-blowing to me. Yeah. And she's the one that they say they hear her crying in the chapel. Many people have reported seeing and hearing Isadora, and she is just such a well-known spirit around here that's gotten a haunted reputation to the point where now they're even doing Halloween events, haunted tours here. They host, yeah, paranormal groups to come through, which is so mind-blowing. Over the past eight years, paranormal researchers and tour groups have reported dozens of ghostly encounters and unexplained sounds and voices at the 166-year-old city-owned home, so the Adobe. Mm. These experiences include disembodied voices, apparitions of a spectral woman in a period dress floating past doorways and through walls, mm. the rustle of petticoats, the sounds of children's voices, women singing, galloping horse hooves, strange smells, which I won't be able to smell anything. <sighs> She's sick. She's sickly. <laughs> <laughs> um, unexplained cold spots in rooms and the sensation of an invisible hand touching the head, hair, or shoulder of passersby. Oh my gosh. Well, we can't physically go inside the adobe itself tonight. We're working on that, but this is like a whole almost like a ranch area. So there's a lot we can walk around, go up to the adobe, walk through the foresty area. So I'm excited. And they see, they see her passing by outside. So. We're gonna run into her, I'm sure. Well, she, she walks through walls, so she could yeah. get us outside. And every time... Every time we've gone to the Cosmopolitan, I feel like we've spoken to Isadora, like, directly. Like, she's the uh -huh. one we always communicate with. I think that's who we should try and talk I to know. tonight. I hope she remembers us. I'm sure she will. She's probably like, who? The dumb blondes again. <laughs> Hopefully not, but we're right. taking you guys along with us to annoy her, so... Let's go. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? A woman's voice. Oh yeah, a woman like. Ah, ah. Ah, I heard it. Coincidence? Maybe. It says the park gates. Yeah. Seven. Doesn't <laughs> say the park. The park. Where are you going? 
I don't know. Do you know where you're going? Well, there's a trail over here. Oh. Bo's going off into the wilderness. Ow. Bo? Bo? Oh, just saw something. My intuition has been on. What do we have here? Oh no. Some folk just attacked me. What is this? Maybe it's nothing, but. Oh, the dome. This must be the roof of it. You think? I don't know what else. It, no, it's a swimming pool. That's what it's got to be, right? But why would it. I don't know. Wait, what makes you think. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. This is why weird. Why would it be above ground like this? I have no idea. There's no way this was a swimming pool. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going, I guess. It was definitely taller at one point. Ugh, bug just hit my hand and it was hard. There's steel rods coming up. I'm so confused. Is this super deep hole? Yeah, we, I don't, I have no idea where. Yeah, let's go down the trail. Okay. This is nonsense. The bows are walking on a hill. I think something's down there. Check. Oh, there's a truck. Don't shine it over there. Oh, it's a park ranger truck. Oh, really? Yeah. There, ooh, I just walked through with stinging metal. No. Did it get your ankle? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Is it stinging? <laughs> it feels great. Wait, don't walk straight into that spider web, Mackie. He is massive. Let's take a detail. Okay. <laughs> What? What is that? Oh, another far creature. <laughs> I don't think he's in there. Here's the spider web crossing the path. Yeah. Oh my god, I just almost walked into him. Look at that thing next to my hand. It's huge. You can walk under. Don't You're good. Me, sir. Okay. Yeah, here we go. This was the ranch house. So this is where they lived. What's there? Oh, it's just the outside. Oh, we're inside of it right now. This is the church house. This is oh. Where, this is where I yeah, this is where they see her, the chapel. There's a woman here. There's a woman here? Yeah, she's in white. Literally exactly Are you how serious? They, exactly how they described her. Getting that period clothing. Is it Isadora? I don't know. Like, I don't want to say she walked back that way. Really? Should we follow her? She's in the chapel now. Isadora, would you be willing to... Actually, you know what, wherever you're comfortable, if you want to stay in the chapel and speak to us from there, we totally understand. But, if you don't mind us being here and walking around the outside, could you make some kind of knock or tap? Is 
Something just knocked on the door over here. The front door. Is that sprinklers? Maybe. It's not a rattlesnake, right? No. They sound, no. Oh, bones fell. You can't see anything, it's like stained. Oh yeah, cave her. cave courts. That's uh, her husband that she married. Oh, built in 1868. Holy shit! Rebuilt in 1924. Literally, it was rebuilt a hundred years ago. Watch out, spider web. Thanks. Yeah, we're definitely not going back there, Isadora. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's someone inside that window watching us right there. Which window? Um, you probably can't really hear that. Yeah. Oh. In this window right here, you can see it. Oh. That one. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, the bang. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let's go over here. I just want to walk around this really fast. What is this thing? Look at that. This had to have been part of this, maybe a chicken coop? Yeah, it looks like a chicken coop. Or a jail. <laughs> jail cell. What is this? A basement? A cellar? A cellar. I was thinking. The root cellar, maybe? Oh, it's all screwed down. Do you have your phone now? It's not like someone just went, hey, from the bushes. Hello? What was that? Man yelling. Yeah. <sighs> Did you hear that? A woman screaming, yeah. Oh, I just shined it directly in the eyes. <gasps> I didn't realize it was so easy to see into until we got this close. Uh, oh my god. That's open. I feel like breaking into an adobe is a crime of some sort. <laughs> no historical landmark. Yeah. No, I would agree. I wasn't going to do it. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> You need to take a picture from the front. Oh, there's someone up there. Where? You still see them? Shine the flashlight more in the right window. Yep, they just went back to the left. <laughs> okay, go ahead, say it okay. again. We just rewatched the clip. That's one of the craziest things I've seen. You f totally see someone back just behind the wall. Step back out. That's just proof. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Was it the same woman that you saw at the chapel? When you no, came? this one was in a different colored dress. We're just here to talk to you. We're not here to harm you or bother you. We just I knew you were going to say bother because she was feeling bothered. Because she's like, then why are you shining the light directly into my window? Sorry, Which, like, sorry. <laughs> like, shouldn't be rude. And I'm so sorry that I was the one to say that. No. Because I was the one who's like, ooh, shine it there. But... Would you be willing to talk to us tonight? 
Can you make a little knock or something? She would. We can sit out here and we can talk to her. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Do you hear that? I did. Can we sit on your front porch and talk to you? Can you knock on that glass if that's okay? I swear I heard a little tap on the glass like right after you said I didn't. I, I was almost like, I feel like we're too far away to hear anything, but you freaking have great hearing. This place is crazy. It really is. I just saw a mist right here. Right here? Like right in front of the screen? No, I, I'm showing it with my finger. <laughs> Everyone's welcome to talk to us as long as you're positive. Not just we'll miss upstairs. <laughs> oh, I was walking into spider webs. Should we set up some equipment? And yeah. What do you want? A run pod, a music box? What? Um, I'm just going to hand this to you for a second. What? I just, in that I, What? The person whose body was in the wall is here. Okay, I think we forgot to say that in the history. Basically, they found a skeleton in the walls here. When they were remodeling in the 70s, and they are here, and they are not welcoming or happy or... Not a threat, but is he saying something? Um, the first visual you showed me, um, no pickings and put this in. He was in that room right there, and he was on um, like you see the door in the middle. Yeah. Towards the left hand side, and he was hanging. What the fuck? But it looked like it looked like a skeleton hanging, not like okay a person's body, which is how I knew that it was the yeah who was found. And then when I like freaked out and kind of caught me off guard, it was right here. So it went immediately from there to here, which is, and it just, you can feel it's unwelcoming. I still feel like we should set up some stuff. Do I you? Agree. Okay. Like, like, that's why I said I don't feel okay. in danger, but. Right. Yeah, because I don't feel threatened, but. Just wanted to share. Thanks for sharing, I guess. I'll set it somewhere. I'm setting this red pod right here. It's a device so you can come up and come near to let us know that you are. Ooh, so <laughs> I have no idea you're right behind me. I didn't even feel you. That was sneaky. If you go up to it. If you go up to it. Actually, I'm going to move it a little bit closer. Okay. So I'm going to show you how it works if you step near it, get near this antenna, it'll light up different colors, you can just check that out, it's not harmful, but something else, there are so many things here right now. What else? That negative thing that's upset. And the skeleton thing? Uh huh, and then there's something else, but it's not, doesn't, it's like not presenting itself as a skeleton, like there, it only did that Fish. once. Huh? Just sound like, <laughs> like, like a, yeah. We we're literally on like a cliff.
We're literally on a cliff, look. There's like nothing down there. No, oh, there's no houses. It's acres and acres. I think it's like 43 acres. <sighs> but maybe I made that. No, I feel like it's 43. Yeah, it, I mean, it looks, it looks it. Can any spirits go up to our red dot we placed down? Go near the metal rod sticking out of it? I'm Mackie. My name is Amanda. We're just here to talk. Maybe the woman who is upstairs in the window. Would you grab me my uh, notebook? There's a child here now too. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, when I saw it the first time, it looked like a little girl, I think, and it was right here. There's a little girl here. There was just a baby in there. Someone in there? Can you make another knock? I'm getting the coldest, like, icy breeze on here right now. That is one of the things, is it temperature is. changes. Yeah, massive temperature change. Was that in the history? It was in the, what, for the last nine years that people have been investigating here. The most popular and common occurrences, that's one of them. There's a child here. There's a child here and I saw you on this corner. Could you walk towards the end of the hall by that red light pretty please? And maybe go near it. It's not harmful. It won't do anything to you. It's just one more way besides you showing me personally that you're here. That you can let everyone else know you're here also. I saw somebody in him there on this side again. It's like dying for some reason. It was just on full brightness before we walked up here. Do you have anywhere that you're feeling called to put it? The only spot I would say would be like over there. Okay. Just because it, that's where the breeze was coming from and Let's where the noise was. Do it. Let's do it. There's a man over there. She's not like scratching on the screen though. That was so weird. When I placed it down, I saw like, wait, it's kind of like. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure the cap all stopped. Stop now. Okay. Was someone just scratching on the screen? Can you make that little ball light up again? Sounds in the woods. You're in the woods. Sounds in the woods. Does just nothing want to talk to us? I'm switching out capitals. Oh, you know what's kind of weird? What? I. <laughs> this is gonna sound insane. I wonder if they're upset and they're not speaking to. Did you hear that? No. It was a breath. It sounded like it was right next to you. Do you see anyone over there? Anyone? Yes, I did. I. Yes. It sounded like it was right next to you, just... I almost feel like they don't want us here because we didn't set a date with the people who take care of the place. Are you serious? I'm 100% serious. How weird is that? Well, we'll leave right now if that's the case, and you have to set off one of our devices, though, and then we'll leave. They hated that. What? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but just so we know. You can take energy from our light. We'll get lost right now if you do. Five, four, three, two, one. What is that drumming though? I know, I keep hearing it too. And it's rhythmic, it's yeah. not like somebody's practicing. And it sounds like someone's chanting too, like ah. 
It's just weird that there are so many people here and none of them are talking to us at all. But it's not like they're hiding, like they're making themselves known. At least I can see them. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on my spirit talker. I didn't get that. Could you try again? What the fuck? Where did that just come from? My phone, which has been in my pocket. What the? No. Which It sounds like someone's getting mad in there. It sounds like they're hitting something louder and louder. Yeah. Or it's crunching leaves getting closer and closer. No more on grass, so it's not leash. Gosh, I'm s that was great. Yeah, what is going on? Amanda, where the f did that just come from? That was like a guy's voice, like, Wah! right? That sounded like banking inside the house, like somebody took two bots. Okay. It might have sounded like that too. It was just some like, Wah! like, what the? Instead of banging in there, can you go up to that red dot on the ground and bang that? It's blinking. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. It's blinking. Bro. That sounded like a baby. It did. Something just flashed over there. You can also talk into this device I'm holding and we'll be able to see and hear you. I'm gonna set it right there. This is so cr- <gasps> Amanda? Video? Yeah, there's like definitely something that wants to connect and talk. I'm restarting. Right before I said that, it sounded like someone whispered. Did it sound like a woman's voice? Yeah, I like, sound like she said something. Singing. So yes, that was the woman's voice. This is, can you make that stop for just a moment, please? Just to let us know. Thank you. Is this the woman that I'm connecting to? Can you set off that device again, just like you did a minute ago? It's not the woman. Are you a man? Are you a man? Are you a man? Are you a man? Can you go up near that device and make it beep again like you did? If you're some kind of other spirit, could you go up to that device and make it beep? Hers. So it is a moment. Maybe I just didn't give her long enough to answer. Sorry. Have you noticed how hot it's getting in this area? Did you live here? Uh, she lived in more than one place. 
is this. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Is this Isadora that I'm speaking to? Isadora Bandini? Are you here, Isadora? You could go up near any of our devices. <laughs> that right Shut into up. my mouth, I swear. Oh Look, there it is. <laughs> That's literally the one that was on the camera. It just said admire. Are you admiring us? Yeah. Or do you want us to admire your home? I was going to say maybe she feels like we're admiring her. We are. We, I mean, we saw the Cosmopolitan, but now to come across the second masterpiece, you know, like, I admire that. Yeah. Is this a different woman that we might be talking to? Is it not Isadora? I heard the scratching on the screen again. Ooh, something just pulled my hair. Another that one. was another one of the oh, things. Wait, really? I'm not even kidding this whole time. I've been standing here. It's felt like something that has been like, not pulling my hair, but just like a pressure pulling down on my hair. But I didn't, I don't know why I didn't say anything. There is a child here now. And a man has now come also. Is Court Johnson here? We're going to give each of you guys a chance to step forward and speak, and whoever wants to can take the opportunity. If the man here wants to speak to us. Victor. It just said Victor. What was that? Victor? Is your name Victor? Is that the man that's here? That is crazy. That I know. The man here. These devices aren't going to hurt you. They're actually fun to play with. Victor is not from here. Where is he from? Victor, can you tell me where you're from? We picked him up at a different location. We picked him up? Yep. So he's been with us this entire time? Nope. But like, I'm sorry, picked up was a bad choice of words. We met him at another location. Okay, and it's just now that we're like reaching out to things, he's like Taking coming back. Opportunity, because okay. I always shut down the line after we leave. Where did you come from, Victor? Where did you go? Was it an inside location or an outside location? I'm gonna ask and give you a chance between each one to set off one of our devices. Oh my god. Wait, so does that mean it was indoor or outdoor? Can you make it stop and I'll start with that question? Once you step away, I'll start. Was it an outdoor location? It said something. Right. Is it right? <laughs> like as in the, like correct. Yeah. Like right. Okay, it was an outdoor location. Wow, I love how much I'm picking up on my own. How that psychic said that right before my 23rd birthday, things would start really yeah. taking off for me. They are. They are. I toot my own horn. Hated that. Check myself. <sighs> okay, sorry about that, Victor. Back to you. Victor, um, I don't want to cut off the line of communication, but could you take a step back for just a minute? I would love to speak to the young child here if they are willing to. Could you make the device go off if you're willing to make that happen? What? What? You heard children's voices? Where? All right, 
right, Victor. Julie. Is that the other woman, maybe, upstairs in that room? Or is it the child? Mm. If Julie is under the age of 18, can you set that REM pod off? It's that red light on the ground with the antenna sticking out of it. Could you make it a uh, beep? Are you talking to Julie? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to try and tune in with her. But... I think Julie is the child. Okay. Would you? I'm so I just sorry. heard a kid yell. I did too. I'm so sorry. Would you walk up to the front pod and show her that it's yeah. okay to not scared? Look, Julie, it's not scary at all. It's like a toy. It's really fun. Watch. Oh, Amanda. The second I walked up there, someone was in there and went, huh, oh, huh. Oh. So loud. So loud. Can I try approaching again? Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm, I just wanna show the little girl. See, Julie? Just like that. Maybe we should move it away from the door if there's something scary. There's something scary in there, I can feel it. It feels so scary. There's nothing visible that I can see. Okay. Just, well, it feels terrible. I totally believe you, but whatever it is, it's strong enough to where it can manifest itself into a physical presence okay. where I'd be able to see okay. it. It said, don't provoke us. It also said Marianne before that. As I, oh my God. It probably said that when I walked up there and it's like, don't provoke us. Like, don't come over here. Like, yeah. don't come and provoke me. That was a bang. Oh my God. It sounded like a thud, like. Something that I realized just while I was sitting here with you guys, when I was connecting to a woman, I was going to the right. Just heard a whoo from over there. You did too? Yeah. But when I was talking to a man, I was going to the left. I feel like that's new. And when I was trying to get yes or no answers, I was going yes, and then this was a no, so that was no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but like sometimes I get that sensation when we go places of someone that just like pushes down on your throat, like not choking, but like it just like pushes I saw down. The guy hit me. What? I oh yeah. Okay. I heard that too. All right, these are called dowsing rods, Julie. They said, of course. So you can open them for yes. Good job. Good job. And you can close them, bring them back to center. For no. And cross them into an X. Can you try that? You you can draw energy from my light, our phones. Good job, now just make the other one move. Can you bring that other one? All the way, take, all the way Take your time, good job. And that That's means good. no. That was very good. What is it? This is cursed land. I believe it, honestly. Do you? I do, like, cursed in a way, like, me not, like, not as in, like, a witch, like, cursed this land, yeah. but, I don't know. So now you that you know how these work, would any of you be willing to talk to us on them? Any positive spirits of the Adobe? Positive spirits. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is this a woman that we're talking to? So there's been two different women, that actually three, that we've spoken to so far. Is this Julie?
going back and forth. Uh huh. Is this Isadora? Yes. <laughs> Do you think there's even someone like actually named Julie? I don't know. Is there anyone here named Julie? Yes or no? Okay, that was fast. I'll move something. And it's moving the dowsing rods. Can you try moving our little ball we placed down in front of that door down there? You just have to roll it or you can even touch it. But you can even push our backpack. Yeah. You can move anything. Oh, just saw a man in there. Yep. Are we not welcome here? Or let me rephrase it. Are we welcome here? I feel like that's another in limbo. Did you just hear that scream? Yeah, I did. That was like a girl scream, like a high-pitched little girl scream. I feel like that's another. I feel like that's another. Like a high pitched little girl scream. I feel like I know the answer to this. I feel like the reason it's in limbo is because we are welcome here, but not right now. If we came back at a later time. With permission. Would you be more willing to talk to us through our devices? Just to confirm, could you do that one more time? Or set off our REM pod right there, that red device? What do you think it's a question? Just to confirm, it was the same question. If she'd be more open to speaking with us, if we came back with permission. Yes. I just had to see if it was the same. Calm. It's a C A L M. I feel super calm talking to her. Yeah, me too. All right. Should we maybe we grab our stuff and walk around the property a little bit more? Yeah. What did you say? Grand. Granddad. Huh. The temperature's on. And I start running towards you and I realize I have the camera. Okay, so pictures I'm taking. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what the hell? What is that? I don't know. Right before that, also the spirit talker said, Who are you? Mess and flames. Mess and flames? We are a mess, thank you very much. Oh, we know. No, thank you. Old chests. Let me turn this down. It, it is just wider. The thing hit like, please, so big. Yeah. Old chests up top. At this point, I don't even know where we are. Me neither. Did you hear a baby? No, I heard footsteps walking up right behind us. And then right when we stopped, it stopped. I heard it for a while now. Should I hear it? There's another truck. I don't know either. 
there's no way that one is <laughs> Are we on someone's property? I don't know. Okay, over this way. Where the fuck did we come from? Okay, this way. Bro, I have no idea where we are. How did this happen? I don't know. The place really was acres. Okay, well that's where we went in, that gate. No, it's not. Fuck, you're right, it's not. Okay, we're seriously lost. Bro, where are we? Oh, <laughs> I'm so no. good. Oh my god, it said Jody, the devil is here in black eyes. Okay, there's the state trooper's truck. Yeah, but where the fuck are we? so we, what is that? A scar? Oh my god, Amanda, don't chase it. <laughs> I'm not chasing it. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> it's sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> that would be a new one. That would be a new one. There we are. Thank God. How did we end up way over here? <laughs> How did I end up so zoomed in? Oh, oh skunk. God, I despise you. <laughs> we actually made it so far. Well, thankfully, we made it back to the car after being lost for literally 20 minutes. As per usual, we forgot to do an outro. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want to see us get in contact with the people who own the Adobe so we can get inside and do a proper investigation inside the actual building. So comment down below if you'd want to see that. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.